and welcome guys welcome back to the tutorial today i'll go ahead and teach you one more new thing i have got a lot of emails uh, request about this now for an example i am a mt4 user and i'm using a vps and i have a same broker multiple accounts like uh, for an example for any broker i have more than one account so i want to open the same broker's mt4 more than one so what I need to do for it, okay, so we'll go ahead and see and learn it. There are different methods to do that, but I will teach you the simple method. Just follow step by step and watch till the end. And don't forget to like and share and click on the bell icon because it will give you the notification for new updates about my video and my channel. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we need to go ahead and log into your VPS. Now. I have already logged into my VPS and I have a tool set up over here. For example, I have an IC Market uh, MT4 tools over here, which I need to run. And what this is what you need to do. You need to go ahead and download or share your file to your MT4 to run it. Okay. So what we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and run it. We'll open it and go for it. Now you can see the icon over here. IC Market is already here. So my first MT4 is ready to be used. Okay, it is coming up right now and I'll go ahead and click on finish button. So I'm done. I'm done with my first MT4. Uh, very soon uh, it will open because it's already running. It's about to open right now. So what I need to do, I have to go ahead and I have to open more than one. I need to multiple. Like for an example, I have of three accounts of my IC market and I need all those three running at the same time in my VPS okay so what I need to do in that case so now what I need to do is I have to go to the folder icon below can you see this yes oops now you can see my first mt4 is up I click on cancel uh, I'll, I'll uh, log in later okay I don't want to log in right now so I'll minimize this for now now I'll go ahead and click on folder. I'll go to my C drive, the local disk. Once I click on my C drive, it will show me the profiles like uh, pre uh, user windows, uh, program files and everything. So I'll click on program file. Once I open my program files, I can see over there that which the folder which I have just installed, downloaded, means I have just installed IC market can you see this MetaTrade 4 IC market it's very simple just go ahead and copy copy this folder okay just simply copy this folder once you have copied this folder come back come back to your local disk main page okay and what you need to do you need to just paste it over here as simple as that paste it over here once to paste it, it will come over here. Now you have to give it a new name. Okay, you need to change the name about it. You can give any name that you feel like. Okay, for an example, I, I just want to name it uh, IC Market One, or I, in short, if I want to go ahead and name it uh, MT4 Two. Okay, my second MT4, and click Enter. I'm done with it. Okay, I am. I am already done with it. Now the same way. If I want my third MT4, so what I need to do, I again have to paste it the folder that has been already copied. Okay, I'll just go ahead and paste once again, and once again I'll go ahead and rename it. Okay, for example, MT4 three, my third MT4. Now the folders are ready over here. Now how to go ahead and make a use of it? How to install or run that particular uh, mt4 individually what we need to do step by step on the first folder of mt4 2 i have to open that once i open that i have a lot of things history mkl file uh, profiles everything i need to go to the terminal okay you can see the terminal over here right click on the terminal and go to send to tab and click on desktop you getting this yes creating a desktop for it 
So I'm making a, a shortcut to the desktop. Once I click it, you can see it's over here. Correct. Now I will go ahead and simply rename this. Okay. What I'll do it is MT4 uh, two. So I will write over here MT4 two and click enter. So I'm done with my second MT4. Okay, I'm done with my second MT4. Now renaming the thing, it's up to you. Whatever name you want to give, A B C D or John Roger Henry, whatever you want to name your MT4 for your memory recognition, you can go ahead and name that. Now this is done. I'm done with the second one. Okay, let me check whether it is working or not. When I double click it to open it, I have to see that whether it is working or not whether my second mp4 of ic market is getting open or not if it is getting open then successfully i am done with my second mp4 okay so we need to understand these things as simple but we need to follow it step by step so once we are done we'll wait for it to run away okay and in the same time you can uh, pin the first one over here that it stays over here that will be uh, good for you here we go can you see the IC market MT4 is open once again okay. I'll just cancel it because I don't want to log into this VPS I'll just uh, uh, pin it I'll, I'll pin it to the tags bar so that it remains over here I did not to go to this uh, desktop to do uh, open it In the same way I'll go ahead and open my third MT4 I'll double click, I'll, I'll open it and I'll go to terminal and again I'll create a shortcut to my desktop and this is what I have to do. I have to go ahead and rename it. This is MT4 3, okay, the third one. Again, name is your choice, whatever choice, whatever uh, selection you do for the name. Now you can go ahead and do it. Now I'll go ahead and open my third MT4. So, First what we did, we, we went ahead, we took the tool setup for run the first one, second one what we did, for the second, third one we went to the local mix, we went to the C drive and after going to C drive we have copied the MT4 IC market folder and came back to the C drive home page and pasted over here and renamed it. So the, uh, like you need 4, we'll go ahead and do 4 times the same thing. If you need five, you need to do five times copy pasting things. This is as simple as that, you know. You can see this. The third one is also open. You can see empty for IC market. Third one is also open in front of you. So I'll go ahead and pin this one now. Ah, uh, we are ready. We are ready now. We can add this to our auto startup tools so that it can read from the desktop and open whenever we are rebooting our VPS. If you don't know how to uh, go ahead and auto start your MT4, you can follow our channel. There is a video where you can learn how to auto start the MT4 if there is a sudden shutdown or a rebooting of your VPS. You guys like this, okay? I believe you guys have liked this and understood. Thank you for now. Thank you for watching.